welcome to Empyrean. I am here over in Xerox space in my new concept vessel. Uh, looking at this dreadnought here. Let me see what's all out here. I think there's going to be more coming. Um, just ported into this space and uh, right next to this guy. So I'm in my new vehicle here, my new vessel. I call it the Hammerhead. And I designed it to take on the Dreadnought, so we're going to have a little fun. See how this goes. Yep, and there's rockets come. I'm going to actually try to come at it from a different angle. I didn't realize I was coming at it from the bottom front, so I'm going to try to spin around it a little bit. Uh, ultimately, what I want to do on this thing is come at it from behind. See if I can't get around it without it churning. I'm out of its vision right now. And then this ship is uh, is uh, is very well reinforced. It's only class four, but it's it's a pretty big beast. So um, my strategy is going to go shot for shot, and. Uh, see how this goes. I've actually taken this ship against one before and it, it uh, I was able to kill it. Um, so I'm going to spin around here really quick. Actually, maybe I'm going to go try to go underneath it. That's what I'm going to try to do here. Go at it from the bottom. Oh, I see eyes on me. Probably a drone. It's okay. Coming up on this guy. He's not super maneuverable, this dreadnought, so I should be able to still get up here and behind get up behind him. Right now we're just playing with each other, going around in circles. But I am about to end that, I think. If I can get up. going. Almost there, and as soon as I get in position, I am going to go after this guy. Basically, I'm going to use my rocket launchers and target his core, and the rest of my turrets, they can do whatever they feel they want. Yeah, I'm clearly in his range already. Gosh, I can't get behind him. I may need to back away a little bit. Alright, I'm going to have to back away from this guy a little bit, I think. Get out of his vision. I ported into this space, and I ported like one mile from him, so he immediately saw me. Alright. Try this one more time. He's probably just going to keep circling on me. Looks like he's going straight now. Yeah, I think so. Yep, I can see his underbody churning a little bit. And this is what I want. I want to be able to get behind him. there. This is perfect. And then my strategy with this guy is once I get behind him, I'm going to sit on, on, the to on the top half of him. Well, as I look at him, I'm approaching from above. I'm going to sit up there, try to lock on that side, and then I'm going to focus my turret fire towards his core. Alright, this is perfect up higher, and then I'm going to come straight down from above at him. So ultimately, his core is right in there, and that's what I'm going after. 
This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be slug for slug. This is like two heavyweights punching each other in the face. Without stopping. The only failure mode that I worry about in this ship is um, it's really uh, if they hit the cockpit. And you can hear they're already hitting my ship, which is totally fine. So I've got a little bit of a creativity built into this ship uh, to try to help. The uh, Ah, she's turning a lot. I've got turrets actually um, up front that they're trying to shoot at, which is fine. They're actually buried in combat steel. Ah, he is turning a lot. There's a lot of explosions here. Meanwhile, I'm just uh, shooting him. There we go. Probably gonna take a little while to take him down. And we'll see how this goes. I mean, who knows? Maybe he'll uh maybe he'll best me, maybe not. can't get the right angle at him. He keeps turning on me. But I do keep shooting my rockets up there. There we go. Funny, I'm not seeing my. There we go. Okay. Sometimes my rockets aren't shooting. That was really hard to see there. Ooh. And that's the one thing I worry about is you saw that hit shot to hit the glass there, or hit hit that protection I have. I'm starting to get a hole up there by the core. He's doing a pretty good job maneuvering now. This guy's a little trickier than the last time I faced the Dreadnought. Get in there. There we go. This is where I wanted to be. Oh, that's funny. You can see that wing is taking a lot of damage. I keep shooting right in there because that's where that core is. He's gonna he's gonna die. I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna keep going at him. And then once this is done, I will uh look at the damage. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Yeah, you can see that right wing is pretty well shredded on this dreadnought. So I think he's lost a lot of his maneuverability.
And then maybe at the end, there he is, got him, killed, dread not dead. And that, my friends, is how you kill a dreadnought. Uh, probably wondering, is this a legit ship? Is it, uh, got the right amount of turrets, blah, blah, blah. So this is a class four. Going to the statistics right here. Class four weighs in at, well, now 97 kilotons. It was 99 or something when I started. Uh, advanced core required, but from the turret wise, it is, it is within limits on turrets. Um, so... Yeah, this is totally a viable ship in any playthrough. And I killed him in, what, five, maybe ten minutes? A little bit harder than usual, or a little bit harder than last time, but man, that was, uh, that was a pretty good battle, pretty good fight. Um, let me see here what we got going on. We got that guy coming. I don't have any cores on me. This is freedom mode, so I'm going to grab a core really quick. A lot of times I carry those on me. And then... Um, That was weird. Apparently I didn't pick it up. So there's a laser, drone laser. What I'm going to do is, is uh, I'm going to core this ship. Alright, put a core on it. Dreadnought is mine. That is no longer a Xerox Dreadnought. <coughs> that is a human Dreadnought. If this were a, a live playthrough, I'd harvest this thing up. It's got probably lots of sweet loot containers in there. Tons and tons of materials. This thing's pretty well intact for the most part. You know, my turrets and rockets did focus. You can see this wing got hammered pretty hard. Uh, but by and large, the rest of it's pretty well intact. Uh, the cockpit area, which is where I was focusing all my fire, that's up there. That's obviously a huge hole in it, but uh, other than that, this thing is in really good shape. Lots of good materials here. So, All right, well, I'll probably head over there and check out those other Xerox guys, but uh, I just wanted to get this one on video, share that with you all. This is how you kill a dreadnought. Thanks for joining.